To isolate or not to isolate, that is the question. The government's accused of mixed messaging. Evening News with Lucrezia Millerini. Good evening. The government's conflicting advice on who should isolate was branded a complete shambles today. This morning, the business minister said the rules were only voluntary and people should use their own judgment. Downing Street quickly refuted that, insisting it is crucial people isolate when asked to. And the added confusion comes at a vital moment in the pandemic. The latest number of daily deaths is now close to 100, the highest level since March. And the number of new UK infections was over 46,000 and has increased 40% over the past seven days. Here's our political correspondent Libby Vina on the mixed messages. And in another sign of the scale of disruption the virus is causing, more than a million children in England were off school last week for COVID-related reasons, a new record high since they went back in March of that more migrants arrived on the shores of southern Britain today after making the perilous crossing from France. It follows the record-breaking numbers seen yesterday, with this year seeing an estimated 8,000 people make the journey successfully. It comes as MPs are about to vote on a controversial new law, which would make it a criminal offence to arrive in the UK without permission. From Kent, here's our correspondent, Dan Rivers. A Premier League footballer has been arrested on suspicion of child sex offences. The player, who has not been identified, was questioned by Greater Manchester Police officers on Friday. Well, Stacey Foster is outside. It has been the hottest day of the year so far, with temperatures reaching 32.2 Celsius in Heathrow. That is 90 degrees Fahrenheit. And with it came a new weather warning, this time for violent thunderstorms across Cambridgeshire, Essex and Kent. Well, the extreme heat is set to continue until Friday, meaning an uncomfortable few more days for some, but plenty of fun for others, as Geraint Vincent reports from Bournemouth. Still to come on the ITV Evening News. Those stories and more after the break. Welcome back. Now, you know what they say, you wait a lifetime for a billionaire to jet into space and suddenly two come along at once. Amazon founder Jeff Bezos today followed in the wake of Sir Richard Branson by blasting off in his rocket ship, New Shepard, on board with him were his brother and the oldest and youngest people ever to go into space. Our correspondent Rachel Younger reports on their pioneering journey. Few cinemas have been fined £750,000 for safety breaches connected to the death of a film goer. Prince Charles has highlighted the dangers of climate change as he visited the Isles of Scilly. The low-lying group of islands is very vulnerable to rising sea levels and their youngest residents delivered a message to world leaders calling them to act before it is too late. Well, from the islands, our royal editor Chris Shipp sends this report. Anthony Joshua will defend his three heavyweight titles against Alexander Usyk in September. And finally tonight, to the musician who's hit the right note by celebrating his 101st birthday and raising money for charity. Ken Essex has played with some of the biggest recording artists of all time, including the Beatles and Michael Jackson. And to mark his special day, he's completed a 10k walk to raise funds for a local hospice. The Sangeeta Lal reports. Happy birthday, Ken. And that is all for now. Charlene is here with news at 10, but from me and all the team, goodbye.